Welcome everyone, I'm here with our senior formulation chemist, Lee Kennedy, and today we're gonna to be talking to you about marine ceramic coatings. Um, now Lee, currently in the marine world, there's not really been that much innovation in terms of protection of surfaces, protection of gel coat surfaces. There are a lot of polymer and wax products out there um, on the market. Yep. How, do, how does a ceramic coating differ from, from that solution currently? Um, Performance-wise, you're gonna see far better durability and far levels of performance. So when I talk about performance, we're talking about dirt repellents and cleanability and UV protection as well. Um, obviously ceramic coatings are based on totally different technologies. So these are silicone technologies that actually react with the, the gel coat and become the top surface. So that essentially that's what is the difference between traditional polymer and waxes and our products, that our products actually sink into the paint and become a functional layer. Of, yeah, of, so of that they paint. chemically react with the top layer of the gel coat to become the top layer, whereas a, a wax or a um, polymer product simply sits on top till it wears away, whereas this is going to give you much better durability. Uh, and G-Technic, our, our products are designed around, obviously specifically around marine products, but they offer... Um, the stain resistance and UV resistance, they, they, that's quite critical, isn't it, to the marine world? Yes, um, obviously because the boat is out in a harsh environment, there's, it's out in the sun, the actual effects of salt water as well will exacerbate the UV degradation of the gel coat. So it is going to prolong the lifetime as well, the, the build of, of dirt and staining is going to be reduced by using a ceramic coating. And, and part of the reduction of the staining and the UV protection, there's also that added element of the cleanability, doesn't it? It makes surfaces slicker, easier to clean. Yes, um, yeah. so the basic principle is that you are reducing the surface free energy. So this is the same effect as a non-stick frying pan. So it makes anything harder to stick to a surface and makes it much easier to remove. So you can get less dirt build up and then when you come to clean the boat, it's gonna be much easier to remove that dirt. Now these two products here, I mean, they're specifically geared around painted surfaces. We do have a wider line that looks for other, looks after other surfaces like yeah. fabrics and yep. plexiglass, etc. But in terms of the specific paint coatings, we've got a two-layer system, haven't we? We've got a yep. base and a top. Um, can you give us a little bit of you know reasoning as to why the two systems are, and just a bit of info behind the base and the top? Um, so basically, the base coat is there for more scratch resistance, mar resistance. So this is just little bits of damage that gets in, that gets put into the surface. And the top coat is there more for the cleanability and dirt removal. The reason for this is that the harder you make a ceramic coating, the less dirt repellent it becomes. So we find, and um, we have this in our auto line as well, that by having a two layer system, you have the harder layer as the base coat and then the more dirt repellent, slightly softer top layer as the top coat and that that gives you the best all-round performance and protects the surface and as well the, the build-up of the two layers also gives you the optimum UV protection okay so it's, it's almost like to get the best results you need that two layer system you, yes if you have one yeah. you probably get something okay but you're going to compromise different yes things from the, from yeah the other two. You'll, you'll always have something missing so the, the two layer system um, and we like think our, our, our coatings are relatively easy to apply, they're not time consuming, they're not technically difficult to apply. So applying two layers isn't a lot of work really, and then, but it's gonna give you a lot of advantages in doing so. Now in terms of the sort of the technical piece around how to apply them, they're actually not that difficult. I, I always say to people, if you can apply a wax or a polymer, oh, you yeah, can definitely, apply a yeah. wax. Um, I'd say easier to apply than wax, and it's actually a more enjoyable experience. Um, each, each product comes with a little applicator pad. You simply wipe that onto the surface, covering an area of around a meter squared. Leave that for about a minute or so. You then take a microfiber cloth, remove the residue working from the outside in, flip the cloth over, go over again, then just check and there's no high spots, flip the cloth a third time, and then just buff it all off till you've got a nice clear finish. And by that point, you shouldn't be able to see the coatings on there. You then start the next section overlapping slightly, and then just work the way around, around the, boat, the boat. So. Um, as like that. And then once you've done your base layer, you, you can then almost go straight around with the, with the top coat. Yes. Same process, yeah. really easy. Yeah, so, so once you finish the base layer, you start from the same starting point, repeat the process again with the, the, the top layer, and that's it done. Now, I guess, you know, in the car world, it's slightly different, but in the marine world, we still recommend a bit of prep, don't we? Because essentially, with these coatings going on, they kind of lock in whatever's below the finish, don't they? Yes. 
Yeah, so um, we do advise polishing the, the surface, the gel coat and the paint beforehand, just to get it looking as good as you want it to look because the coatings themselves won't improve the performance. They're not hiding anything, they're not filling anything but they will lock in that appearance. So if you, you polish it and you prepare the surface and it looks absolutely amazing, the ceramic coating is gonna help preserve that and keep it looking really good. Um, and in terms of sort of things like different colors, um, vinyls, are, are there any things that people need to be aware of around that in terms of application? No, th these have been signed to go on to the multiple surface that would be required in the marine industry. Um, and they, they are quite, dynamic in that respect that they can go onto a lot of surfaces and give the same level of performance. But it does have to be a painted painted surface, it's, it's got to be painted. Um, painted or gel coat, yes. yes. Painted or gel yep. coat, okay. Um, okay, so in terms of the, the products, say you've applied the system, the base and the top together, what sort of durability can people expect to get? If the product is applied by a certified installer, we look for about three years. That is based on average use and we have a lot of field data to back this up. Um, so we've obviously got a, a certified network now of marine installers yep. uh, that can do it because you know there are some big vessels that you look at them and you probably think, I wouldn't want to do that myself. But yep. we, we have certified uh, marine installers that can install the system and that comes back by a guarantee, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, or if you're inclined to do it yourself or if you have a smaller vessel like a jet ski or a center console yep. or a fish boat, you can actually do it yourselves. There's, there's no real technical know-how required, is there? No, no, not at all. Um... The instructions there, we've got a lot of how-to videos on our website that people can come and look at. Alternatively, they can pick the phone up to us if they've got any questions, and like I say, you'll get to speak to someone who knows what they're talking about. So there you have it. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments, please drop them below.